What is Kokoro TTS and why is it special? Well, Kokoro TTS is simply a text-to-speech tool designed to convert text into spoken words. Currently, it can generate up to 500 characters on the web and stream up to 5,000 characters. The reason this tool is so special is not just its high quality output, but also its rapid generation speed. Look, it'll take no time at all. There we have it, in just three seconds it produces this phrase. The cool thing is, besides letting us customize pronunciation, which is interesting, we can also run it locally. If you search for Kokoro 82M online, it's the first result you'll see. It shows how to get the pip and how we can use it. They briefly explain how it works, how to start it, and so on. Of course, this is our first encounter with it. Since DeepSec's release, open source models have become very popular, meaning everyone can access them and run them on their own computers without needing external servers. This makes it much easier for people to create their own project, and it's truly an excellent model. How to convert text to speech with Kokoro TTS if you search for Kokoro TTS Hexgrat or similar, you'll find it. It's this page here, which is basically an application. And what this application does right now is, well, it currently allows us to use English as the language. Hopefully they'll add more languages in the future. It's a text to speech tool that offers unlimited reading. By unlimited, I mean it has a character limit. We can generate 500 characters at once or in stream. While listening, it can generate up to 5,000 characters. It's unlimited in the sense that it's free to use. Here we have a message example. Hello, have a good day. We can, for example, select different voices. The first voices listed are usually the best quality. From here, we can choose to generate using our GPU or CPU. Usually the GPU shows a rocket symbol and is faster. Here we can adjust the speed. We click generate, hit the generate button here, and it'll start generating. As you can see, it's whispering here. I'll press play. I'll choose Bella's voice, for example. Let's generate again. Keep in mind I'm working with sped up times. The voice might sound a bit off, but this is what Kokoro's text-to-speech can do. It's a very useful tool with many applications. It can read books. It's useful for everything. It has another tool for random quotes. Or if you click Frankenstein, it generates... Clicking Frankenstein generates a much longer text. It's basically two pages of a book. You hit stream and it starts playing. It loads while playing. Notice it now shows 17 seconds. Suddenly it's 351C. While playing, it keeps loading. This can be very useful for reading or other things, like having an audiobook too. How can we get more characters in Kokoro TTS? Well, on the website, we have a 5,000 character limit. But how can we make it unlimited to have more characters? It says we can use it directly or duplicate this space. If I click duplicate this space, it creates a second window. It's basically like having two separate windows. Alternatively, we can use Kokoro directly. They give instructions for an open weight TTS model with 82 million parameters. Despite its low weight, it has high quality. As you can see, it has nearly a million downloads. Kokoro is an open weight TTS. Here they showcase the quality. They say you can now do a pip install Kokoro. Here they show what you'll get with the pip and here they explain how to use it. In fact, if we scroll down, we can see it. They explain the model type, the training data, less than 100 hours, then a few hundred hours for version 1.0. They mention costs and usage. You can use this with Google Colab. So I simply opened Google Colab as instructed. Once in, I created a new notebook, just like that new notebook. Then I pasted the code here. Okay, I clicked run. It took quite a while, honestly, but as you see, it started generating audio. Here it is. Look, here's another phase. I guess it goes phrase by phrase. There we have it, right? The script is still running. Not sure if it combines everything at the end. Reading the output, I'm unsure. It's not clear seeing what it says. But hey, it generates the voice, okay? So it can be done. It's true that Google Colab has paid tiers. There's a free portion, but at some point you have to pay. I'm fully aware of that. There are local hosts, right? For both Mac and Linux. For Windows, I haven't found anything that works yet. I've tried. I've really tried, you know? But I couldn't find a way, despite spending a lot of time on it, with Git, using Torch and such. So if anyone finds a way, I'll be keeping an eye out. And if you let me know, I'll share it, okay? So that's how we can have more characters, characters without limits. But I must say, the website itself is really good. The range of settings it offers, and having the stream and all that. Plus, it lets you download audios, which I forgot to mention earlier. So, per All right, now let's compare Kokoro with Eleven Lab. There's this space, basically a hacking face arena, that compares one model to another. Here we have Eleven Lab. Let's select Kokoro, the latest 1.0 version with hundreds of hours of training. We'll have it generate a karma sentence. Okay, now we'll hit synthesize to hear how it sounds. Let's see, we can hear that the first one has quite a bit of echo. All right, now for the second audio, let's see. It sounds closer to the mic, so one sounds too far away and the other too close. 
We could even say this one pops a bit, not to mention the sibilant. Popping means the P's and T's are too pronounced, and sibilance means it's overusing the S sounds, okay? Making the pronunciation sound too exaggerated. This is more about the mic than the person's pronunciation. But it's trained on recordings, and I guess they didn't set up the voice well. So I think A is better. Uh, A is style TTS, but I had put 11 labs. I'll ask for another phrase. Let's try again. Well, this one sounded very good. It sounded good but reminds me of a documentary voice. It's almost like, it's a narrator's voice. It even sounds like radio. It's a pretty good voice, honestly. But I'd say the first one sounds more natural, okay? In this case, it's Kokoro. So, which is better, Kokoro or Eleven Lab? I think they're neck and neck right now, okay? And I've been using both quite a bit. Eleven Lab sometimes fails a lot, but usually does well. And Kokoro will do the same, okay? I think Kokoro fails a bit more than Eleven Lab. Right now, I wouldn't say Kokoro is better. It's better for its features, local use and such. 11 laps is paid after all. In that sense, Kokoro is much better. But quality wise, 11 laps is slightly better. Not by much though, not by much at all. Not to mention how fast Kokoro is, right? Or the possibilities it offers. It's just no comparison. I mean, we're unfairly comparing quality to a faster equal model. It's a bit absurd really. Look, the leaderboard shows people agree with me. 11 laps, 18K votes, 76.6% win rate. Kokoro. 68.5%. Then there's Play HT and others. Lastly, ones I don't even know about. Never heard of them. People are pretty clear on this, right? Which ones are the best? How can we read a book more efficiently? Well, let me introduce you to Edgar Dale's Learning Pyramid. This pyramid basically shows that, based on our actions, we retain a certain percentage of what we learn. In other words, when we read about a topic, we only retain about 10% of what we read, okay? We retain 20% of what we hear, double that, and 30% of what we see. 50% of what we see and hear, 70% of what we discuss, 80% of what we do, and 95% of what we teach. Obviously, these percentages are just for illustration, okay? But it's true that reading about how a well works with pulleys isn't as effective as seeing it in action. But if you see it and someone's explaining how the well works, you'll understand it better, right? You'd learn 50%. And obviously, if we can teach it, it means we know it and can pass that knowledge on to someone else, right? So what's the point? If we read a book, we get 10%. Hearing it, 20%. Reading and listening together, we'd get 50% of the info, making a percentage. How do we do that? Well, let's say we have a book, right? Typical ebook, I have it here, it's an image. Can't select text. Cartrale does nothing, okay? I can't select the text. So, we have an ebook we bought online. Obviously, it has to be digital. And what we do with this ebook, which probably doesn't work with text, if it already has text, great. If not, we'll run it through OCR. And OCR basically, so you search for PDF OCR, go to iLodge PDF, click select file and upload your PDF, right? Then choose the document language and click apply OCR. It'll process the OCR. Download it, open it, and now you can select the text. See, do Ctrl A, Ctrl C, then use a text to speech tool. I picked Kokoro, but any TTS would work. Here's Kokoro for you. Hexcrack Kokoro TTS. Kokoro currently only works in English, but it's very good and unlimited. Other online TTS tools allow for many characters too. This one seems pretty good as well. They all work similarly. Input text, pick language, and lip. I used to use another one, but I can't recall its name now. And yes, I used it to listen, not to read. I just listened without reading along. I only retained about 20%, but it helped me get through two or three books I wouldn't have had time for otherwise. The great thing, which is why I'm telling you this, is that you can download it, okay? You have these buttons, sorry, this download button here, and you can download it. Currently, Kokoro has a limit of 5,000 characters, which depends on having the page open. You can use it locally, okay? If you're tech savvy, you can use it locally and end up with your own audiobook, no joke. There are platforms like Amazon that offer audiobooks too, but consider this option. If the book costs you 30, the audiobook might cost you 10. It might be worth it, I don't know. So that's it. How can we learn up to 50 times faster? All right, let's get down to business, shall we? I've explained the learning pyramid. We retain 10% of what we read, 20% of what we hear. Reading and hearing combined or watching increases retention to 50%. These percentages are approximate. So how can we take this to the next level? How do we go from hearing and listening a 5x improvement to a 50x boost over just reading? Let's say I want to learn more about NVIDIA's history. I've searched for NVIDIA's history and found some videos. Now, I'll take these video links to a tool called notebookm.google.com. I'll add the source, click add source, select YouTube, paste the first link. Remember to use reliable sources, of course. This channel has a million subs, 
lots of likes. Seems like a good video. This one with 927 views. Uh, maybe I'll skip it. Remember, we're looking for NVIDIA's story. We could use this video too. We can also Google NVIDIA's history and check their official site. All right, I've now listed five sources here. We can add up to 50 sources, docs, slides, text, links, PDFs, even audiobooks. So right now we have these five sources. What do we want to do next? We want to understand NVIDIA's journey since its founding. Let's use this question here. I've asked about NVIDIA's path from its founding to now. I'll hit send. He's going to start analyzing all the sources. It might take a while, which is normal, but I assure you, he'll only extract info from those sources. So... He just gave me this text right now. I asked him to expand each point with all possible info. See how he gave me a list with brief explanations. Well, now he's provided all the points. So I'm clicking here to copy. Basically, we'd have the entire text here. He's written quite a bit. Look, look, this is a substantial amount. Now I'm going to Kokoro TTS to input this text. Kokoro TTS is at havingface.co.spaces.hexgraph.kokorots. You can use any text-to-speech tool. We'll just hit stream. As it says, I've hit the limit. There we have it. He starts explaining a bit and begins the text-to-speech demo. In this case, Kokoro has let me down as I've used it a lot today. But there are other text-to-speech tools that work just as well. This one, for example, is called Loop Voice. It seems to have a 3,000 character limit and generates audio. You can download it. 3,000 characters might not seem like much, but it's NVIDIA's journey from its founding. It's about three minutes of talking to present day with expanded details. And there we have NVIDIA's history. In fact, if you log in, it gives you more. Well, well, I've just logged in. It just gave me 20,000. Oh my goodness. Plus, you don't have to wait for it all to generate. It does it gradually. Look, look, look. 15 minutes of audio, 16 minutes of audio. So... With 60 minutes, we'd have NVIDIA's story here. In a super condensed form with high quality content, I've done this with NVIDIA, but you can do it on any topic, any topic at all. So there you have it, loopvoice.com, comma, kokoro.tease, and the LMNAR.